What's going on guys? Um, welcome back to my first video that I've ever made. So I guess welcome to the first one I've ever made. I just wanted to make more of like a talking video, see if I could do it, um, see if something I wanted to do, I don't know. So today I just figured I would uh, talk about some differences that I've noticed between Velocity University and Iowa State University, so a Japanese university and an American university, and just kind of my personal experience and some of the differences I've found between those two universities. So let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is students at Wasa University have to commute, all, all of them have to commute because there's no on-campus living. That's something I kind of expected coming to Tokyo, it's really crowded, there's probably not room, but Wasa to have their own dorms that are like an hour away by train, so it doesn't really make sense to, like, I don't know why they call them Waseda dorms, but every single person at Waseda has to commute because there's nowhere to live on campus. Okay, so the second thing I want to talk about is eating at Waseda, at, eating at school, just eating in general for lunch. Waseda University has one cafeteria and it's pretty small. There's a lot of students at Waseda and, you know, only a fraction can go there because it's only so big. So what most students do is they buy lunch or they bring it from home and they just sit outside anywhere on benches, on stairs, you name it. They sit there and they eat lunch and that's just something that I did not expect people to do at Velocity University. Obviously it's like, where else would they do it? But, I don't know. But that's just not something I expected coming here that every single person is just sitting outside anywhere and just eating their lunch. And the third thing I'll talk about is how many students go to Waseda. I just, it's just hard for me to believe that there's actually as many as Google says that there is. It says that there's 52,000 students at Waseda University. No possible way. I don't know where they are, where they go. The campus is small. I don't know. I, I don't know where 52,000 people could fit. My university in the United States has 36,000 people and it's a huge, it's huge. The campus is pretty big. It makes sense there's that many students, but Waseda has like, 52,000, that's like 3.6 million. More than where I go on a campus that's a fourth of the size. I don't know, maybe they're online, but I just don't know possibly where 52,000 students could go to the school. It just, there's nowhere, there's no space. I don't know how they do it. Okay, and the last thing I wanna talk about is kind of just expectations between Japanese classrooms and American classrooms. So the Japanese college experience is very similar to the American high school experience, I, in my opinion because it's harder to fail than college. It's really hard to fail at Waseda. You really don't have, to, you really have to be not trying at all because they can just take Fs, wipe that garbage off your transcript, gone. Like that didn't even exist. And it's just a lot harder to fail. Whereas United States learning is really about yourself. It's self-learning, self-motivation, all that kind of stuff. But Waseda University, it's more like, well, he messed up here, so, and you just, you can just, that's it. And then you just take more classes. So the expectations are different at Waseda versus um, United States. Waseda, a lot of it is more, you just, for actual classroom um, expectations, you just sit there and don't ask questions and take notes and it just, I don't know, it reminds me of high school. And yeah, so that's just something I noticed about um, Waseda University classroom expectations. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Um, now I have to do the YouTuber spiel where they say this stuff at the end of the video, so here we go. Like, subscribe, smash that like button, hit that bell for notifications when you get notifications for when I upload, hit that like button again, the third time I said it because it's that important, share Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, MySpace, if I didn't say Facebook, I said it twice, add to favorites, post a comment, I like all the comments, I read all the comments, and yeah, thanks for watching.